Have you ever thought about an investment that gives you the benefits of both diversification like mutual funds and the ease of trading individual stocks? Well, today, we're about to delve into a financial innovation that asks, why sell for just one when you can have the best of both? Welcome to Stock Market Callus, where we'll uncover the secrets of exchange-traded funds or ETFs. If you've ever wondered what ETFs are, how they work, and whether they're the right investment investment choice for you, you're in the right place. So, let's get started by answering the most basic question. What is an ETF? An ETF or exchange-traded fund is like a financial toolbox for investors. It's a type of investment fund and a bit of a hybrid. Think of it as a basket that holds various investments such as stocks, bonds, or commodities. This basket structure allows you to invest in a wide range of assets all at once. So, instead of buying individual stocks or bonds, you can buy shares of an ETF that represent ownership in this diversified basket. What are the key characteristics of an ETF? Diversification ETFs offer diversification, which means they spread your investment across multiple assets. This can help reduce risk because if one asset underperforms, it's balanced by others in the ETF. Liquidity ETFs are traded on stock exchanges just like individual stocks. This means you can buy and sell them throughout the trading day, providing liquidity and flexibility. Lower fees. Many ETFs have lower expense ratios compared to other types of investment funds like mutual funds, which can help you keep more of your returns. Transparency. ETFs disclose their holdings daily, so you always know what assets are in the fund. This transparency empowers you to make informed investment decisions. Types of ETFs. ETFs come in various flavors, each designed to meet specific investment goals. Let's explore some common types. Stock ETFs Ideal for long-term growth, they compromise a portfolio of stocks and are generally less risky than individual stocks. Commodity ETFs These track raw goods like gold, oil, and coffee. Understanding what's inside these ETFs is crucial due to potential tax implications and risk levels. Exchange-traded notes or ETNs. While not technically ETFs, they are similar. ETNs often track commodities, bonds, derivatives, or unique assets like carbon credits. Keep in mind, they rely on the credit worthiness of the issuer. Bond ETFs provide regular cash payments to investors, making them suitable for income generation and lower risk compared to stocks. International ETFs offer exposure to foreign stocks, adding diversity to your portfolio. Sector ETFs focus on specific sectors of the stock market like healthcare or finance, allowing investors to target particular industries. Leveraged ETFs aim to amplify index returns, but they come with higher risk and are best suited for experienced investors. But how do ETFs work? Exchange-traded funds work like this. The entity responsible for the ETF holds the assets that underlie it, formulates the ETF to mirror their performance, and subsequently offers shares of that ETF to investors. These shareholders possess a stake in the ETF, yet they do not have direct ownership of the underlying assets housed within the fund. Nevertheless, investors in an ETF tracking a stock index, for example, may receive consolidated dividend payments or reinvestments corresponding to the stocks contained within that index. While ETFs are crafted with the aim of mirroring the value of an underlying asset or index, whether it's a commodity like gold or a basket of stocks like the S&P 500, they are traded on stock exchanges subject to market forces and typically exhibit prices that differ from the underlying asset. Furthermore, due to factors like expenses, the long-term returns of an ETF may deviate from those of its underlying asset. ETF Creation and Redemption 
As ETF shares are essentially representations of a bundle of assets, the creation and redemption of ETF shares involve intricate procedures that necessitate the purchase or sale of the underlying assets. When it comes to generating new ETF shares, an authorized participant, often an institutional investor like a broker, submits a basket of assets that closely aligns with the ETF's portfolio or provides a cash payment to the ETF provider. In return, in turn, they obtain a batch of freshly created ETF shares having an equivalent value to this specified creation basket. Subsequently, these newly acquired ETF shares are made available to ordinary investors. On the other hand, the process of retiring or redeeming ETF shares is essentially the reverse. The authorized participant returns a block of ETF shares to the fund, and as compensation, they receive a basket comprising cash, assets, or a combination thereof, generally mirroring the composition of a creation basket corresponding to the number of shares being redeemed. ETF Advantages and Considerations Investors have flocked to exchange-traded funds because of their simplicity, relative cheapness, and access to a diversified product. Here are the pros. Number 1. Diversification While diversification is often associated with broad market categories such as stocks, bonds, or specific commodities, ETFs offer investors another layer of diversification horizontally across industries. Attempting to individually acquire all the components within a specific basket of assets would demand substantial resources and effort. In contrast, ETFs provide a simple solution with the click of a button delivering these diversification benefits to your portfolio. Diversification plays a vital role in safeguarding your portfolio against the unpredictable swings of the market. If you were to invest solely in one industry and that particular sector experienced a challenging year, the performance of your entire portfolio would likely suffer. By spreading your investments across diverse industries, company sizes, geographical regions, and more, you introduce a balanced dynamic to your portfolio. ETFs being inherently diversified alleviate the need for you to manually construct this diversification within your investment portfolio. Number 2. Transparency Accessible to anyone with an internet connection, it's possible to look up the price movements of a specific ETF on an exchange. Furthermore, ETFs exhibit a level of transparency that extends beyond what is typically seen in mutual funds, as the fund's holdings are disclosed daily to the public, whereas mutual funds tend to reveal this information on a monthly or quarterly basis. This transparency empowers you to closely monitor your investments. For instance, if you have a strong preference to avoid investments in the oil sector, it becomes significantly easier to identify any inclusions related to oil within your ETF compared to a mutual fund. Number 3. Tax Benefits ETFs offer significant tax advantages compared to mutual funds. When you invest in a mutual fund, you might find yourself liable for capital gains taxes, which are taxes on the profits earned from selling assets like stocks throughout the duration of your investment. This is primarily because mutual funds, especially active managed ones, tend to engage in frequent asset trading, leading to ongoing capital gains tax obligations. In contrast, most ETFs only trigger capital gains taxes when you decide to sell your investment. Consequently, your overall tax burden on ETF investments is typically lower. When investing in a mutual fund, the fund manager's frequent buying and selling activities can result in both long-term and short-term capital gains taxes for the investor. However, with ETFs, you have the flexibility to choose when to sell, making it easier to avoid the higher tax rates associated with short-term capital gains. Exchange-traded funds may work well for some investors, but but they aren't perfect. Here are some considerations you will be warned of. Number 1. Trading Expenses The expenses associated with ETFs may extend beyond the stated expense ratio. Because ETFs are traded on exchanges, there's the potential for additional commission fees imposed by online brokers. While many brokers have opted to eliminate these ETF commissions altogether, it's important to note that not all have followed suit. Number 2. 
possible liquidity challenges. Similar to any financial security, when the time comes to sell, ETF investors are influenced by prevailing market prices. However, ETFs that experience less frequent trading activity can present challenges when it comes to selling as they may be less liquid and harder to offload. Number 3. Risk Off ETF Closure The primary reason for ETF closures often stems from insufficient assets to cover administrative expenses. The most significant inconvenience associated with a closed ETF is that investors are compelled to sell their holdings sooner than initially intended, and this could potentially result in losses. Additionally, there's the hassle of reinvesting the proceeds and the potential for an unexpected tax liability. How are ETFs traded? ETFs are traded on stock exchanges just like individual stocks. The price of an ETF fluctuates throughout the trading day depending on supply and demand. ETFs are known for their liquidity, making it easy to buy or sell shares. Before we wrap up, let's take a real-life scenario example. Let's say you're an investor looking to gain exposure to the technology sector in the stock market. Instead of purchasing individual tech stocks, you decide to invest in an ETF called the Tech Titans ETF. You research and choose the Tech Titans ETF, which is designed to track the performance of major technology companies in the United States, such as Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and Alphabet, the parent company of Google. You decide to invest $5,000 in the Tech Titans ETF. By doing so, you purchase shares of this ETF. With this single investment, you instantly gain exposure to a diversified portfolio of technology stocks. The Tech Titans ETF holds a basket of these tech giant stocks in its portfolio. You appreciate the liquidity of the ETF. During regular trading hours, you can easily buy or sell shares of the Tech Titans ETF on the stock exchange just like trading individual stocks. The Tech Titans ETF is designed to mirror the performance of a specific index like the Nasdaq Technology Index. As the tech sector performs well, the value of your ETF shares increases. You can easily check the ETF's performance and holdings online. The fund provider regularly updates its website with this information, ensuring transparency. The Tech Titans ETF is tax efficient. You only incur capital gains taxes when you decide to sell your ETF shares, which provides flexibility in managing your tax liabilities. And there you have it folks, that's the lowdown of exchange traded funds or ETFs. We've delved into how they work, their benefits, and some key considerations. Remember, ETFs are like versatile tools in your financial toolbox. They offer diversification, transparency, and often come with lower costs. But as with any investment, it's crucial to do your homework and understand what you're investing in. If you found this video helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content on finance and investments. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Check out more videos about NFTs and how do they work and exchange traded funds investing for beginners. These videos will surely help you unlock the potential of your financial future. Until next time, see you in the next video.